mean value, say, 30.7, and standard deviation, 3.8. So the question is, at 0 0.01 level of significance, is there evidence that the population mean is at least 30? At 0.01 level of significance. Is there evidence, any evidence that that population mean mu is at least 32? Population mean at least 32. selected a random sample, including 60 observations. Right? <coughs> and found <coughs> sample mean 30.7 and sample standard deviation 3.8, right? So here the x bar is 30.7 and this sample standard deviation 3.8. Then at this level of significance, one person, 0.01 level of significance, we want to see there is any evidence that the population mean mu is at least 32, right? So we need to conduct a test of hypothesis. First step is what? First step is to find out, to write down H O and H A, right? I'll write H O and H A for this question. We learned the steps, four steps, to write H O and H A, right? So first you have to state the question statistically, then state the opposite statistically, right? Then choose alternative one first, followed by null hypothesis. So the first step is what? State the question statistically. What is the question? The question is population mean is at least 32, right? Population mean mean <coughs> at least 32, 32 or more. Right? Then we write opposite. The second step, what is the opposite of this one? Yes, mu is less than 30. Here you need to be careful because these two must be mutually exclusive. No overlap, right? No overlap. And also uh, collectively exhaustive. That is, these two should include all real numbers. Right? Then, first we select HA. Which one is alternative hypothesis HA? The one with inequality. So this will be HA. HA will be mu is less than 32. And other one will be null hypothesis. Mu is greater or equal to 32. Right? But we always write this in the form of equal, mu equals 32. So HO null hypothesis, mu is 32. Alternative one, mu is less than 30, right? Is this one tail test or two tail tests? One tail. One tail test because HA has strict inequality, so this will be one tail test. Then we choose alpha. Alpha is given, in fact, 0.01, right? It is one tail test, you do not have to find alpha half. We will work with alpha. And n, n is sample size, 60 observations, 60. You see that here the problem doesn't say about the distribution, if it is normal or not, right? So we, we check sample size. You see that the sample size is large enough, that is greater than or equal to 30, right? So we can approximate this distribution by normal. <coughs> it is almost normal. <coughs> we can use C test. 